Susie, are you having money troubles? <laughs> uh, why do you think that? Because today, I happen to see you coming out of a discount supermarket. And you were desperately pedaling a mom's bike, so I couldn't help but laugh. You look so poor, it's unbelievable. Just because I go to a discount supermarket doesn't mean I'm poor, I think. But you're a regular at that supermarket, right? Yeah, that supermarket has fresh vegetables and a good selection of products. And it's not like things are good just because they're expensive. Only poor people say things like that. Hey, can you stop treating me like I'm poor without any reason? First of all, I don't think my family is as poor as you think. Then, where do you work, Susie? I work at a bakery nearby. So, you can only work at a bakery? That's proof that you haven't made any effort until now. If you had money, you could have attended a decent university and secured a job at a decent company. What a pity. Well, I did graduate from university, and when I was single, I worked as a regular employee just like everyone else. But now, I want to focus on raising my children, so I've changed my way of working. What a convenient excuse. Anyway, compared to the company I work for, the one you're employed at probably isn't anything special. Well, it's not as well known as a renowned theater company, I guess. Just as I thought. Still, I don't think that means you should treat me like I'm poor. I'm not struggling financially to the extent of being called poor. But Susie, even the way you dress is plain. You don't have any branded wallets or bags, right? I'm not really interested in branded stuff, you know. I don't feel the need to deliberately wear expensive things. You mean, you can't afford them, right? You just don't have the money. Well, that may be true, but what about you, Karen? Huh? Like you, I live a luxurious lifestyle every day. I'm even planning to build a house soon. Huh? You have that kind of money? Are you jealous that I live a completely different lifestyle? It's not about jealousy, I'm just concerned. If building the house is true, it seems like your life will become difficult from now on. What are you talking about? My husband is an elite person, working for a major company. We're an elite couple, so we have plenty of money. I see. Don't you envy me? No, I just think it's impressive. Take it in some more. I don't think you'll ever be able to live a life like this, Susie. That might be true. Karen, do you always go around bragging about being rich to other moms? Huh? I'm just stating the facts, not bragging. Well, depending on how you perceive it, it might sound like I'm bragging, I guess. I think it's better not to do such things too often. Huh? Are you telling me to stop because everyone is jealous? No, it's just that I feel sorry for your child. What do you mean? If their own mother is constantly showing off and seeking validation from others, it must be embarrassing, don't you think? I don't think your husband would appreciate it either. You're so annoying! I'm just showing the difference in class, that's all. Just because wealthy me is enviable, don't come at me like that. I'm not jealous or anything. I'm just worried about you, Karen. If you continue like this, everyone will drift away from you. You were rude to me earlier. Whatever I say to people around me is not up to me. That's why I hate poor people. If you hate them, why don't you just avoid them? Then there would be no one left to brag about my lifestyle. I like to see the look of frustration on the faces of the poor. Seriously, stop saying things like that. The other mom friends don't think highly of you either, you know. They're just jealous anyway. They're envious of me. Well then, maybe I should go to a fancy French restaurant or something. I'll at least tell you how the food tastes later. A few days later. 
Susie, how can you drive such a lame car? Are you talking about my new car? Oh, it was a new car? You're so poor that you can only afford a compact car? You're a loser. My husband and I make a combined annual income of $200,000. I bet you're jealous of my luxury car. Aren't you drowning in debt or something? Huh? How do you know that? Actually, the landlord of the apartment where you live is related to me. What? I often hear about you from my aunt. Your mailbox is full of payment reminders and apparently debt collectors have started coming to your house too. You must be mistaken. I'm not mistaken. My aunt told me to keep an eye on you. I never heard that your aunt is the landlord. You didn't mention it. So you knew that I was drowning in debt and yet you listen to my stories? Yes, that's right. I was amazed at how easily you could lie. What's that? You mean you were mocking me in your mind? How awful! I'm not mocking you. If you realized it, you should have told me. Well, I didn't say anything about you being poor because I thought it would hurt you. Well, earlier I left in a hurry. Making fun of me like that? I'm not making fun of you, really. I just felt sorry that your whole family got involved. Huh? What do you mean? Karen, just because you work at a better company than your husband, it seems like you completely leave the household chores and childcare to him. And at home, it seems like you constantly shower him with abusive words. Doesn't it seem like that to you? My family matters are none of your business, Susie. We have our own way of doing things, so don't meddle with us. I'm sorry about that. Hey, you're the only one who knows that we're actually drowning in debt, right? Of course. I don't think anyone else knows that Karen is struggling with debt. That's a relief. Even if your mouth is split open, please, don't tell the other mom friends, okay? Of course, I have no intention of telling them. However, it seems like the other mom friends have also sensed it, though. Huh? What do you mean? Karen, among the mom friends, you're famous as the fortune-telling woman. What? Are you trying to say that I'm constantly lying? Well, isn't that the case? You always tell unrealistic lies just to be well-regarded. It's true that I may occasionally bend the truth a little, but I only speak about realistic things. You said something about planning to build a mansion the other day, didn't you? Did I actually say that? Have you already forgotten? Take a look at the WhatsApp messages from a few days ago. You definitely said it. That's true. But it seems like you told a mom friend that you're planning to move to the top floor of a high-rise condominium, right? Did I really say that? You keep telling lies and don't even remember what you said, right? It can't be helped. I wanted to be seen as better than everyone else. Also, you mentioned that you bought a luxury car and bragged about it to us, but that car wasn't yours, right? No, that's not true. That car is mine. But I couldn't find it anywhere in the apartment complex. Right now, I'm keeping it at my parents' house. But in reality, it was something you borrowed from a friend, right? Why would you think that? The other day, I happened to see your friend in front of the apartment complex. At that time, they were driving the luxury car you were bragging about. So I thought maybe it belonged to your friend. Oh, I was being observed. So it turns out that it was indeed your friend's car. You were talking about it as if it was your own car. Was everything okay? You even posted pictures of it on social media. 
Actually, my friend found out about my social media posts and got really angry with me. So they decided to cut ties and stop associating with me. If you keep doing things like this, you'll end up pushing everyone away. It's better for the sake of your child to stop telling lies from now on. Even if you try to show off, everyone sees through your lies, Karen. What? Everyone is making fun of me. It's terrible. One month later. Susie, help me! Huh? What's wrong? I might get evicted from the apartment. Your aunt told me to leave if I can't pay the rent. Well, that's only natural, isn't it? My aunt is not running a charity by lending out the apartment. What does your husband say about it? Actually, a few days ago, he left with our child. What? It seems like he intends to divorce me. That's quite a sudden turn of events. I had heard that you were behind on the rent, but I didn't know about the divorce. How did the conversation about divorce come up? Your aunt came to my house to collect the rent. At that time, unfortunately, my husband was present and it was revealed that I had been using the rent I received from him for something else. It's understandable that he got angry. When you say something else, do you mean you were buying luxury items? No, that's not true. I was using it for other things. Other things? It's none of your business, Susie. Could it be for your affair partner or something? It's not an affair. I was just financially supporting my favorite celebrity. The other day, I saw you walking together with a young man in town. He wasn't your affair partner? Huh? Was I being watched? The rumor that you're dating a young man is famous even among our mom friends. I've also been shown some pictures. No, everything was exposed? Well, if you're openly dating in the neighborhood, it's bound to get out, right? You should use your head a little more. This is the worst. I'm so embarrassed that I can't even walk outside anymore. According to what I heard from my aunt, the apartment was under your name, Karen. That's right. When we signed the contract, my husband was unemployed due to a layoff, so I signed the contract in my name. So after your husband started working, he was responsible for paying the rent, right? Of course! Living expenses are something the man should take care of. My husband also paid the rent for the apartment I rebuilt. So your husband was under your thumb, huh? He must have endured a lot until now. That's a rude way to put it. We have been supporting each other and living here together. It's not my concern, really. So what do you expect me to do to help? You and the landlord are relatives, right? In that case, I want them to show leniency towards the overdue rent, reduce the rent, or make some accommodations. Are you asking for special treatment only for yourself? We're mom friends. Aren't we? Can't we somehow work it out as a mom friend service? That's impossible, isn't it? If we were to do something like that, we would receive big complaints from other residents. It'll be fine as long as it doesn't get exposed, right? Please! Some things are just impossible. By the way, Karen, you work at the Shadow Ensemble Theater, right? In that case, you must be earning a decent salary, right? I do receive a salary, but a while ago I made a big mistake and got a pay cut. Right now, I'm earning less than a fresh graduate. After deductions, it's less than $2,000. I see. With debts to repay, it's difficult to make ends meet with just $2,000. Exactly! If my husband were to abandon me at this point, would be left with nowhere to live. I don't know what to say to you. All of this is a result of your own actions and you have to figure it out yourself, don't you? It's not like I can do anything about it. That's why I'm in trouble. Well, if that's the case, why don't you start by stopping your excessive purchases of luxury brand items? You could also try selling the brand items you already have. 
That way, you might have some money saved up, right? No way! I have to buy the latest releases as soon as they come out! It's how I maintain my image as a glamorous employee at work. I don't care anymore. Just do whatever you want, okay? What? Are you abandoning me? Abandoning you? It's not like I have any stake in your affairs. Wait a minute. At least try to convince the landlord. The landlord is just telling you to fulfill your obligations, right? If you can't do that, then you should quietly leave the apartment. That's it. Wait! A few weeks later. My husband and I have decided to get a divorce. I'm being evicted from the apartment too. Susie, you really didn't help me at all. I've heard the story from my aunt. But you're able to go back to your parents' house, right? At least you have a place to live, so that's good, isn't it? Nothing is good. From now on, I'll have to do agriculture in that damn countryside. So your parents' house is a farm. Yes. I hate that damn countryside so much. I came to the city and worked hard. Why do I have to do something as uninteresting as agriculture? But you're working at the Shadow Theater, right? Are you quitting your job? I actually submitted my resignation letter just recently. The debt collectors came to the company and it was revealed that I'm actually drowning in debt. Then everyone started making fun of me. It was so embarrassing, so I quit. So you'll be working at your parents' house to repay the debt, right? For now, my parents have covered the debt for me. They were really angry with me though. It's good to have kind parents. What about your child after the divorce? It's not decided yet, but most likely my husband will have custody. I expressed that I wanted to have custody, but our son has completely grown attached to his father. He said he doesn't want to live with me and he started crying uncontrollably. My son gave up on me and I'm really pitiful. The pitiful thing is your son having a mother like you, but that's just my opinion. How could you say such a horrible thing, Susie? Why is everyone so cold to me? Maybe it's because of your attitude towards others in the past. What? What did I do wrong? It's not just about flaunting your wealth. Karen, you treat people as if they're poor and say things that hurt them, don't you? That includes how you treated me. You make assumptions and go around labeling people as poor saying things like they didn't attend a prestigious university or work for a decent company. You look down on them, don't you? I didn't want to get into fights, so I didn't argue back. Honestly, it made me feel quite uncomfortable. Are you angry by any chance? If I said I'm not angry, it would be a lie. I'm human too, so I have things that make me angry. I just didn't argue back because I didn't think you would believe me anyway. I chose not to respond on purpose. Huh? So Susie, you attended a better university than me? And worked for a good company when you were single, is that right? That varies depending on the person's circumstances and it's not for me to judge whether it's good or bad. By the way, which university did you attend? Williams College. What? That's a university ranked three places higher than mine. You must have worked for a famous company during your single days, right? No. Actually, during my single days, I worked at my father's company. The scale of the company is much larger than that of the Shadow Theater Company. Huh? So Susie, your family runs a company? Yeah. My family is in the real estate business. It's not a very large company, though. But just the fact that you have a family business, it means you're in a higher position than me, right? You've been making fun of me inside all this time. That's not what I meant. In fact, it was you who looked down on me, right? I'm sorry. I never thought you, Susie, would be such a high-achieving person. 
You always hear me talking about saving money, so you thought I was struggling financially. It's not that I don't have the financial means, so I need to save, but rather saving is a way to create some breathing room. From now on, why don't you try living frugally to make your life a little easier? I understand. I will try to learn from your way of living, Susie. Oh, I've got it. From now on, please support me as my mentor. Huh? Does that mean I have to give you advice if you're facing any difficulties? If it's just advice, then it's fine, right? I feel like I'll be having stressful days ahead, so I might need to vent my frustrations. I'd also appreciate it if you could listen to my complaints. I'm going to decline. Huh? I don't intend to continue associating with you, Karen. Does that mean you're angry at me? It's not so much that I'm angry, it's just that I find it bothersome to be involved with you, Karen. I finally have the chance to distance myself, and if I were to be contacted by you every day, it would exhaust me. How cruel! So it doesn't matter what happens to me, huh? Yeah, Karen, how you live your life doesn't concern me. And just do as you please. What? I thought you would be on my side, Susie. Well then, do your best not to be abandoned by your parents. I won't be in contact anymore, but I'll still support you from afar. Well then, goodbye. Afterward. This will be the last time I have any contact with Karen. Shortly after that, Karen officially divorced her husband and returned to her parents' home. In the end, the husband, who had more financial resources, obtained custody of their child. After returning home, Karen is working tirelessly to repay the debts that her parents helped her with. She must be working tirelessly every day. The other mom friends also haven't been in contact with Karen. Most of the mom friends took Karen's move as an opportunity. It seems like they blocked her on WhatsApp. To avoid ending up alone like her, I want to continue living humbly from now on.